Okay, so if I could be anywhere other than where I am right now, it's a tough question to answer, but um, I think I'd have to I'd have to go local. I'd have to say the Sabi Sands. Um, yes, we're very fortunate in that we get to visit a variety of different incredible destinations across the globe. Um, but I think I would have to say the Sabi Sands just because that's pretty much where my passion for wildlife all, all began. Um, and now during this lockdown period, it's allowed me to go through a lot of uh, my past images um, and content that I got while I was a full-time guide and um, just reminiscing on um, the past experiences and memories that I, that I created while I was a full-time guide has been absolutely incredible. Um, it's a beautiful area, I think, you know, for me it's a standout destination. It's one of my favorite destinations to visit. Um, although I've spent many years there, it always feels like I'm coming home. Um, it's an area that I know extremely well. Um, and I think in a way it, I was just privileged to spend extended periods of time with specific animals and um, almost develop relationships with these animals and see them go about their daily business. Um, and along with that, it's just an area that's always felt very wild to me. Um, visiting the Sabi Sands, the vegetation is, you know, it's very diverse. You've got some nice big open plains, but you've also got very densely vegetated areas. Um, and along with that, you've got these beautiful, long, um, massive drainage lines. Uh, so in terms of, of landscape, it's extremely diverse. And in terms of wildlife, it's also diverse. Um, home to the Magnificent Seven, which is wild dogs, cheetahs, lions, leopards, uh, buffaloes, rhinos, elephants, um, and along with that, a lot of general game as well. So um, I think, yeah, if I, if I could be anywhere right now and having sat in the house for the last couple of weeks, um, itching to get back out on safari, if I had a choice, I'd be going back to the Sabi Sand for sure.